Number 20 ranked UCF takes game one of his three game series against East Carolina to improve to 35 and 10, 7 and 0 in the American. Eric Lopez alongside former Texas A&M Aggie great Jamie Lowprice. And Jamie, uh, old school pitching duel between Logan Estes and Gianna Mancha, who is fantastic. A one hit shutout for Mancha for a 15th win of the year. Yeah, pitching and defense was the name of the game. And speaking of defense, Gianna Mancha fielded her position well today. So many ground ball outs fielding her position. Really kept the ball down, kept the Pirates at bay. And look at that play right there, line drive there. But the Knights kind of struggled to get offensive. It was a scoreless game for a while. Mancha had to be on top of her game because Logan Estes was really matching her pitch for pitch, but Mancha was up to the task. And then, of course, the Knights would get the run in the bottom of the fifth. Justine Molina got on with the hit, and then Janisha Rowe with that two-strike down 0-2 count worked the RBI single up the middle for the only run in the game. We talked about the bottom part of the lineup needing to step up or had continued to step up. Once again, your 8-9 hole gets on base, and Janisha Rowe with the big RBI, which proved to be the game winner. Knights win it one to nothing. They improved to 35-10 overall, 7-0 in the American while the Pirates dropped to 19 and 22. Eric Lopez here alongside Jamie Lowprice saying so long from Orlando as the Knights, once again victorious, one to nothing, improved to seven and zero in the Americans.